So you've got some money and you're looking to invest. What is the best investment? Is it stocks, crypto, real estate, or Forex? It really depends on a couple of factors, such as what your timeline is like and what your risk tolerance is. But the comparison usually comes down to two investing strategies, investing in the real estate market or in the stock market. In this video, I'll explain why I believe real estate is better than the stock market. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll share why real estate might not be a good investment for you. What's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help you reduce your real estate investing education time from months to minutes. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. Before we jump into why real estate investing is better than the stock market, I will say that I think it's important that you stay diversified in your investing. Even if you niche down to one strategy such as real estate, I believe it's important to be diversified inside of real estate as well. But if you can, it's always good to be invested in more than one. I'm a real estate expert, as some would say, but I also have money invested in the stock market and have some experience there. So this is by no means a one-sided beat down of the stock market, but I do think that for a variety of reasons, real estate is a better investment. Let's take a look at why. One of my colleagues, Scott McGilvery, once said that real estate is the most able investment. What does that mean? Well, let me break it down for you and we'll start with the most obvious. Real estate is rentable. You can rent out your properties and make cash flow each month. This is not unique to real estate because you can also purchase dividend paying stocks and every month you should receive a cash flow distribution. But in my experience, real estate cash flow can significantly outperform stock dividends especially when we look at things from a cash on cash perspective. Real estate is leverageable, meaning you can borrow against your real estate. You can get a mortgage or a loan secured against your property, which means if you buy a piece of real estate for $500,000, you don't need $500,000 in cash. Again, this is not unique to real estate. You can also borrow against your stock portfolio in some situations. The difference in real estate is that your loan to value is usually higher and the interest rates you will pay to borrow against your real estate will be lower. You can also amortize your loan against your real estate over a longer period of time. Real estate is taxable. There's three ways to make money with your real estate. You can make cash flow, you can have an increase in property value or appreciation as it's called, and you can depreciate your real estate as well. By depreciating your real estate, there are tax benefits that you can take advantage of. When and how you depreciate your real estate should always be advice you get from your accountant. So check with them as to when it makes sense. Real estate is tangible. When you own real estate, you own an actual piece of property, and in some cases you own the land that it sits on. This is a tangible asset. Your stock portfolio is not something that you can drive by and it's not a tangible asset. Real estate is improvable. As a real estate investor, you have the ability to increase the value of your property by doing renovations or improving the property. This is not something you can do with your stock portfolio. There are certain renovations that will yield a higher rate of return, but if you wanna force the value of your property up, you can do that through improving the property. Now you can see why we call real estate the most able investment. It's rentable, leverageable, tangible, taxable, and improvable. But that's not it. There are other factors that make real estate a better investment. The world population continues to grow every single year and the reality of our situation as it currently stands is there's only so much land and space available to build on. Well, until Elon figures out how we can live on Mars. Anyway, this means that there is a scarcity to real estate. And if you look at simple economics in Canada and the US, the demand for housing is far outpacing the supply. We are in a housing crisis in many areas of the world and especially here in Canada and the US. Although governments are trying to introduce temporary fixes to alleviate the increase in real estate values, these measures are meant to grab headlines more so than they are to fix the problem. I'm not gonna get too political, but if politicians want to help with the housing crisis, one of the best ways to do that is to increase supply. They can do this by reducing the red tape and regulation around adding new housing to the market, not by taxing foreign buyers and increasing interest rates. Okay, 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 I'll get off my soapbox now. The other reason I like real estate over the stock market is something that is very topical right now. We are experiencing record inflation and real estate has always been a fantastic way to hedge against inflation. For those that are not familiar with what a hedge against inflation means, if your cash is sitting in a savings account that's growing at 2% per year, but the value of goods is rising at 5% per year, then your cash is worth less and less each year. The reason that real estate is a hedge against inflation is because if if you look at the history of the real estate market, it has consistently outperformed inflation. So if your money is invested in real estate, it will keep pace or outperform inflation. As promised, I wanted to shed some light on why real estate may not be a good investment for you. Real estate is not as liquid as investing in the stock market, meaning if you want to sell your real estate, it usually takes a longer period of time. 
The other reason that real estate may not be better than the stock market is if you are looking for a simple and easy investment. While there are many passive investing strategies that do not require a lot of your time, most active real estate investors will spend more time managing their real estate portfolio than they will their stock portfolio. If you're looking to learn more about passive investment real estate strategies, this is something that I cover in great deal in my masterclass. You can check it out at darrenvoros.com. And if you'd like to take on a more passive approach and you would just like to invest your money with me, you can check out our latest investment opportunities at readydevelopments.ca. Now, I would love to hear from you. Which strategy do you lean more towards? real estate investing or the stock market and why. Leave that in the comment section below along with your real estate investing questions for me. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.